It's Brittany Alyssa. So, without further ado, I'm gonna jump straight into this video. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This video is long overdue. I think it came out February, um, February, Friday the 13th, and I ordered it, and I received it two days later. But life happens. But I'm getting to it now and I hope you guys can still appreciate the video so I still haven't even opened the box I don't even know what it looks like because I wanted to do a first impression on camera so this is the box that it came in I'll hide my information the box is still completely closed let's open it and let's see how it looks okay so this is the foundation I got the color cinnamon and the reason why I got the color cinnamon was because I'm gonna leave it on the screen the color swatching to me on the skin seemed like if I would have went up a shade it would have been way too light for me and if I went would have went backwards a shade it would have been a little too dark for me or in reverse so I got the color cinnamon I'm usually really good at color matching myself and it wasn't in Sephora here in New York. I literally had to buy it online. So this is mine. I'm going to open it and we're going to see if it's too dark, if I have to exchange it or return it. Sephora is really good at return policies just in case it's too dark or to exchange it. I'm hoping it's not too dark. And today I'm going to do something I usually don't do. I'm going to use my Tarte Beauty Sponge on the right side of my face. And I'm going to use my Morphe M. 439 brush on the left side of my face I usually just go ahead like I'm normally doing it but for the sake of the video today I've decided to do things a little differently so at first glance it reminds me of my NARS bottle but the difference is it's plastic the good part about that is if you drop it you won't break it I know I've dropped a lot of my concealers and they've broken so it won't break and it's childproof because I have children but let's shake this bad boy up I I hope it's not too dark I'm gonna be so sad if it's too dark well I'm going to put two little squirts I know when I saw her Instagram it was to put it on the back of your hand but I feel like you waste a little bit of product like that so I'm gonna put one squirt it was supposed to go on the brush it fell on my hand and I'm just going to rub it on my face and then blend it in with the sponge. It smells really good. It smells really good. And I was right about my color match. I was right about my color match. I'm usually really good at that. So immediately, not only is it a color match, it is covering my spots and going right on my face just like as a veil now right now I'm not using a primer when I ordered this I totally forgot that there was a primer so forgive me for that I'm going straight face maybe if I used a primer it would have been better maybe I should use a primer on this side so I'm gonna finish doing this side and then I'll I'll use a primer try one more squirt on this side I look crazy right now with only one side of makeup on and I really <clears throat> really really like how it applied I like this look at that so I'm going to grab my primer I'll be right back I'm going to go grab my YSL primer I really love this primer and the reason why I grabbed it is because it works really good with foundations that mattify like this one has done it feels very lightweight so just going along with it I'm going to apply on camera so you guys know that I applied some foundation some primer 
I'm only gonna take a little bit because I'm only doing one side of my face. And then it will act like a veil. But in using this without a primer, it went on really smooth, so I'm anxious to see how it's gonna go on with a primer and how it's gonna apply with a brush just in case you beauties out there don't use. Well, I'm using a beauty blend. I have beauty blenders and a tart sponge, but just in case you guys don't want to use a sponge and want to use a brush, I'm being fair. Do one squirt, and that's like that, and let's see how it applies with the brush. Okay, so this is the side with the brush. I don't particularly like the way that the brush applied it, so I probably will use my either beauty sponge or my top my my beauty blender or my Tarte beauty sponge. I'm just going to try to blend that out more evenly on this side. I'm going to try to blend this out a little more. Because I have some creasing on my forehead being 30 years old, and I don't want the foundation to fall into those lines so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more and just pat it in to my face I felt like the brush was just smearing it okay so I'm gonna look in the mirror a little closer it feels very very matte on my face like it doesn't feel like I have a bunch of product on even though I know I was only supposed to give it one squirt and I gave it like one and a half I really like how this looks and I think I think this is a really good color match like I said I think if I would have went lighter it would have been too light and in the next shade I think was mocha if I'm not mistaken I think it would have been too dark but this is right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the rest of my foundation. Now, originally in making this video, I said I'm gonna apply the rest of my foundation off camera and then come back with it already applied. But then I changed my mind and the reason being is because if I apply my concealer and my powder on camera, then you guys can sort of kind of see how your makeup will go on. Um, on top of this because I know some foundations do not agree with concealers and powders and all that other stuff it just looks a hot mess so I'm gonna apply my concealer which is right now my favorite is the ColourPop so I'm gonna apply my ColourPop I'm gonna contour highlight and I'm gonna do that all on camera I'm gonna fast forward the video a little bit um, and put little inserts as they come to mind but I'm gonna apply it like butter like it really blended in like butter I'm a little shocked at how good it's blending in with this foundation it's the foundation is acting like a smooth canvas and it's blending in really 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 good so if you guys decide to highlight and bake and cook and all that other good stuff this foundation is not going to move it around. It's going to put it exactly where it needs to be and it blends in really good. Like I'm doing this right now and effortless like it really is. So now I'm going to move on to my contouring. Let's set the under eye. I just, I would feel better if I set my under eye and then continued. I don't want any mishaps. The thing I do to set my under eye is now I go in with my Morphe M530 brush and I just take a little powder and dust it off and then I just put it straight to my face because baking too long 
like I said, it, it goes under my lines and I don't like it. So this is what I've been doing. I've just been lightly pressing it and then immediately sweeping it away. The only place I really allow it to sit is on my nose. Okay, so that went on really, really, really well. Now, I feel more comfortable applying my contour color. I just don't want any, like, frown lines. My eye makeup was already done with the Huda Beauty Textures Palette, Rose Gold Textures Palette. And now let's... contour is now applied I'm gonna go in with my best Becca Chrissy Teigen um, for some blush and I'm gonna apply some lippy and apply my wig and then I'll come back with my final thoughts on the product okay so the rest of my foundation is applied I'm gonna zoom you guys up so that you guys can get a better look. I apply my little wig and everything and I'm feeling really sexy. But I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you guys can see my pores. It's only been about maybe 40 minutes since I applied this foundation. I overall have to say it's really nice first impression. I am going to do a word test because right now it is, where is my handy dandy phone? It is super early, number one. It's 9.46. I'm going to wear this for a few hours. I'm not going to say six hours, 12 hours because when I get ready to take off my makeup, I want to take off my makeup. But I'm going to wear this foundation for the day because I want to see how it wears. Is it going to crease up on me? Is it going to get oily because I am an oily girl? Although I did apply it with my brush and my beauty sponge, I preferred it with my beauty sponge. It did cover my imperfections. Again, I'm going to look in the mirror. It did cover my imperfections. And I feel like the rest of my found the rest of my makeup applied seamlessly with it. So do I recommend going to get it? It was $40. I think $40 is not a bad price for a foundation if it's gonna go on matte and if it wears good. Now I will give you my final yay or nay if it's worth the price later on in the day, but right now my initial is if you want to try it, I think it's worth it. She does have a really good color match um, on Huda Beauty. She does compare it to certain um, foundations. For me, that didn't really work. Um, like I said, I'm really good at matching myself when it comes to shade range. And I think the cinnamon fits me really good. I don't want to go more up or more down. I think this is good for me. And overall, for now, I give it a big thumbs up. I will check in later and let you guys know if I still feel that way later on. But overall, I really like this foundation. I think it's worth it. And I love Huda Beauty's products. So when she came out with this one, I was like, hmm, is she going to miss the mark or is she going to hit the target? And I really think she came through with this one. So I will check in with you beauties later. Okay, beauty. So I'm back. Um, it is right now. 2.01 p.m. in the afternoon. I've had this makeup on since around 8.30, so close to six hours. And this is how my face looks. I'm gonna do a zoom in. So I really think that this makeup is good it did look like i had a filter on the entire day the only problems that i will have is that around my nose like right here i did crease just a tad bit but overall like the color match as you can see it oxidized to like my skin complexion 
and I didn't have a problem with that and I was able to actually order it online. Um, it did mattify and it felt like I had on a powder as opposed to a heavy foundation. I've had it on for close to six hours and my face doesn't feel irritated. It does have a nice fragrant scent, not enough that it's overbearing or like it makes you nauseous, but enough that like you feel girly and fresh, it's like a fresh scent. If you're not huge on your foundations having a scent because it is so close to your nose, then I wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't mind scents, I think my face after almost six hours of wear looks really good. I've laid down, um, I've eaten, I've changed my lipstick, and overall I think that it's held up. I do give this makeup my approval. The only thing I will do differently next time is I will apply a little more powder around my nose to avoid creasing, but that's pretty much it. And again, this is what it looks like. I am in the color Cinnamon 440G in case any of you guys want to be, you guys are my color and want to be matched. I'm in the color cinnamon. I think it's a pretty good match. You guys can leave a comment down below of what you think. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'm ready to take my makeup off. Although it's 2 o'clock, it's Sunday and I'm ready to like relax. I have work and school and all this other good stuff. But I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. As usual, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more videos like this or reviews, leave them down below. I always get back to you guys. Until next time. Bye, beauties.